This is a super magnet that can carry 27 kilograms. It's a neodymium magnet. And the liquid you can see here is a so-called ferrofluid. It contains nanoparticle sized iron and is immersed in oil. And what you can see here is how this magnetic ferromagnetic fluid behaves in the magnetic field of this supermagnet. I think it's just quite amazing to see this. These kind of supermagnets only cost like three dollars or so, so they are very affordable. Make sure you don't get too strong magnets because in case of collision or in case you get your hands or whatever uh, in that way, that might lead to serious injury and uh, damage of magnetic drives such as your heart disk for example. So something that is around 30 kilograms would be recommended for this experiment. As for the ferrofluid, it is actually used in loudspeakers, so maybe that gives you a source of where to get it. But it's also available on the internet on various sites. It's a little more expensive than the magnet, but in small quantities such as 10 milliliters for example, should be affordable as well. Just make sure it doesn't get dry, because after this experiment, um, the fluid on the petri dish was already quite dry, so it's not possible to reuse it. So just make sure you keep your ferrofluid in a nice sealed jaw. So here you can see how the ferrofluid gets dragged along towards the magnet. Snow motion doesn't really work all that well, so let's rather look at it in normal speed again. And you can see all these shiny little spikes. It's like, I don't know, a hundred shark fins or something, traveling through a sea of ferrofluid. But of course, as I said, spreading the ferrofluid out on a petri dish like this basically makes it not reusable. But, as for the purpose of this video, I think it demonstrates the properties of the ferrofluid quite well. I also took some photos of the ferrofluid, so let's look at that. Here you can see it from a distance. But I think for the video resolution, a close-up is probably best, where you can see a lot of these very, very smooth and awesome spikes coming up. You can also see uh, more of those photos on my Flickr photo stream. The link to that is on my channel page.